everybody and welcome to this video i'm exhausted i just did like a 30 fucking hour fucking halloween tag video but something came up in there and i wanted to share it with you guys um i was talking about in there again like i did a couple weeks ago in the live stream about the difference between terror and horror and i said back then i was going to make a video on it and here we are Basically, what we have here is terror, I think, for the longest time, was the thing that people made, whether it was in literature or in film or whatever. And then I think it was probably the fault of the 80s, but a lot of things were just trying to sell horror. And probably because that's the name of the fucking genre. So whatever, you know. But I think what has ended up happening through all of this shit and all these decades later is that terror has become really difficult to do. So let's just do the horror because that's easy. The problem with this is if you just do horror, there is no investment into why us as a viewer or a reader would give a shit if anything bad happened to anyone in the story or film. So I think the best way to talk about this is to first like give definitions of what these things are. Terror is basically the fear of anticipation of something horrible happening, but you kind of don't know what the outcome would be. Like you're, you're, you're afraid you're freaked out. It's like making your heart race, but like, is it something you can get out of? Is it something that you could escape? Like we haven't got that far yet. One step at a time, you know, it is a buildup. It builds and it builds and it builds. Now, in order to make this work well, when you are making a film or writing a book is that you have to fucking care about the character who is going through this terror or else no one will give a shit. And this starts in the eighties and then Eli Roth went crazy with it, thinking that this was a good idea. But a lot of people thought, Oh, all we have to do to make people care about these characters is make them relatable. Okay. Well, how do you make them relatable? We will show them partying, doing drugs, drinking, having sex and being a little annoying because everyone can relate to that. No, no, we can't because in real life, nobody actually likes those people. So if your whole like way of making someone feel empathy for someone is to make them a complete fucking asshole, you've fucking completely missed the point. You need to actually care for the person or else terror secondhand does not fucking work at all. And for some fucking reason, no one knows how to fucking do this anymore. It's, it's just like, I'm going to write this, uh, this character. Oh my God. Da -da 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 -da. If you are a filmmaker or a novelist or a short story writer, try really hard to find some likable fucking quality that you could instill in your fucking characters or else no one is going to give two shits about them. And what I see is very lazy. It's very fucking lazy. No, I'm not even gonna fucking talk about it. Jesus fucking Christ. It's not even worth it. Now that we know what terror is, terror is the anticipation, the buildup of something horrible on the horizon that you might be able to get away from, but you don't know, and you don't know what can actually happen once it arrives. That's terror. Horror is when it's there, and you know what your fate is, and you have to be like, like resigned to this is your fate. You are fucked. There is no getting out of this. 
that's horror. And so typically, like in a horror movie, like the way horror movies get graded by the MPAA, they get rated by if there's a bunch of tits and dicks and all this other shit, but also the amount of violence and gore. So it's almost like the terror in the film is fine. But the MPAA, besides being the morality police, they're like, you're only allowed to see so much horror. Like, let's not make you want to walk off a bridge at the end of this thing. But what I feel a lot of people do now is that they go straight for the horror because that's going to be fucked. Like, you know what? I'm going to five pages in. We're going to kill a dog. We're going to kill a baby. Um, there's going to be a kid in this movie or in this book. And we're going to foreshadow that this kid's time is short. But, you know, this kid will be dead by the end. And when you read it, knowing that you've already fucking killed dogs and babies, of course you're going to fucking kill the kid. Like, why the fuck wouldn't you? Like, this is not... I don't know how this is not, like, common knowledge to people. Anyway, I'll explain it to you how I explained this to everybody else. Terror is when your girl misses her period when her period's late terror is when she says finally like two weeks after the fact after she's been losing her shit for two weeks she says babe I think we need a pregnancy test terror is you going to the store and having to pick out a pregnancy test and then walk it to the register, put it on the conveyor belt, have the cashier ring it up and then look up at you real quick and you share that glance. And she could look up and tell by the look on your face if this is a congratulations moment or fingers crossed or, God, I'm so fucking sorry, fingers crossed. That's terror. Terror is the drive home from the store with that fucking pea stick in the bag. Terror is when you stand in the hallway while your girl goes in the bathroom and does her thing with it, does the magic. Terror is the next 7 to 15 minutes, however long it takes before you find out terror is when you're like well maybe it was a false positive I should make an appointment with the doctor let me make an appointment with the doctor terror is all of this going to the doctor's appointment and having the doctor say no you're pregnant that is horror that's when the horror starts when you know that there is no coming out of this you are pregnant you are going to be parents you are going to be a mother you are going to be a father the next 18 years of your life are now going to be horribly different than anything you planned and it might be a good thing it might be a bad thing but your life is now completely different congratulations this is horror that's the difference between terror and horror So with that said, guys, I hope that was fucking pleasant. So right now on Kindle Vela, you could get my um, serial Horrywood Confessions of a Low Budget Horror Filmmaker. Um, there's four episodes of that up right now. Um, keep buying my books. Go over to Etsy and get my newest chapbook, Last Chance um, Gas Station Poetry. And fucking shit, guys. Type hard. Know the difference between terror and horror and fucking make the world a better place. God damn it. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.